Green, because uh, when I first heard I was interviewing you guys, well, well when I first heard of you guys, uh, I figured it was a solo artist, and then I uh, found out you were a, a big band. Tell me the, the story behind this name. When we were uh, going to college together, a couple of us, we uh, we wanted to appear professional with our other bands. Um, we were we were all kind of doing different groups at the time, and uh, so we made up a, uh, a booking agent, and he was named Milo Green, and we would send out emails as Milo and, and to book these projects. So. Um, We've always actually said he's a, a British guy, so I guess this is kind of like a homecoming for him. So. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, so did you make calls as well when booking these gigs? Were you, did you take it in turns to be... Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Robbie. He, he, he had a British accent, yeah. yeah. Who does the best British accent? You want to try it? I mean, I don't know if I do the best one. You're gonna put me on the spot. Uh, hello, mate. Uh, this is uh, Milo Green. I mean, is that that's pretty good, right? That's, no. I mean, that's how we. That's how that, we all sound. Yeah, yeah, clearly. Is that more Australian? Hello. Hello, mate! You always it's more that's loud. More, that's it's more, more loud. It's very, it's very Van Dyke in Mary Poppins, uh, isn't hello, it? Hello, lad. 
Oh, you're there. On oh, the dope we, bits. Oh, we on the dope oh, We're going to gain so many British fans from this. Yeah, we're going to hate it. This is almost racist, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right now. Well, let's hear your best American, because you guys... Oh, yeah, my, my Americans are all right. Yeah. Like late, uh, you know, you I, I, that's I, like John I, I, Wayne. I thought you were American like Al Pacino for a second. Or something. Damn, oh, I, yeah, it's pretty impressive. Uh, back to you guys and music. Although that, that was a lovely accent, well done. Oh. Uh, you, so you were a solo artist, and then uh, how did you come to, to form the band? Lou Pearlman. Yeah, we, <laughs> we are the, the new Backstreet Boys. Okay. Um, how did we come to form the band? Um, we yeah, we were going to school, and uh, we. Uh, we're, uh, you know, just walking. <laughs> it's, a, we're walking. walking. it's one of those great walking and, it's, uh, it's, it's brilliant. Go on. We're walking yeah. and we uh, we kind of spotted each other across the courtyard. And uh, um, we decided, but hey, you why not? A quad if we're talking about <laughs> the campus. Why not, you know, join, a, a join up and form a band? Just and to really, it was just an excuse to practice my British accent. Yeah, so. which is excellent. Thank you. Which is excellent. Years in training. And you're all is what, well, and you're all uh, uh, multi instrument uh, mentalists. Ah, oh, wow! Did I even say that? We're right? all mentalists. We're this all mentalists. This is a plug multi, for the, multi the TV mood. show. Maybe you've seen it. <laughs> We're, you're all multi instrumentalists. That's right, isn't it? Yeah, that's cool. right. Um, how do you decide who plays what on each song? Is it how does it work? Is it who writes the songs and you go, okay, I want guitar for this one, for each track. Um. We all were primarily guitarists when we got started, mm. and uh, when we began rehearsing the songs for our first live shows, we kind of just moved around the rehearsal space, trading instruments just kind of for fun, seeing you know what felt right, and then the songs all just kind of ended up where they did with us moving around constantly. Yeah. And that's quite a big thing in your live show now, isn't it? You yeah, sort of it works Switching out. instruments. Keep, must keep it exciting for you guys. No, it's really a pain in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> because... Everything goes wrong really? all the time. It's You're always just crossing. a lot of tripping, a lot yeah. of you know, dead time, awkward silence. Uh, do you all have your own specific guitars and stuff, or do you lend it to each other? Do you no, get a bit precious? We just kind of we just kind of throw everything. it around. Yeah, Andrew's a little pre precious about that guy. It's yeah. the tender, oh. little tender boy. It's a very nice guitar. Thank you. Is there a special thing, a special thing behind this guitar? It's named after my dad, actually. Is Martin. It? Yeah. Is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Martin, right there. Yeah. Can't tell if you guys are. Uh, I feel yeah. like you could be lying to me here. Uh, let's as well. Let's talk about the album because uh, <laughs> your debut album as well, Milo Green. Uh, are you excited to be having that out now? It's out there. It's in the world now. People can get their hands on it. It's getting great reviews as well. People are loving it. So thank you, That's reviewers nice. out there. Yeah. It's cool. It's it's been out in the states since July, so it's kind of exciting to have a second release day. It's kind of starting fresh all over again. It's nice to have people get to hear it for the first time. Mm. Second party. Second party. Second release party. Yeah. That's my favorite party, the second party. Yeah. Pig, pig party. Mm -hmm. Well, the first party, you got the nerves. Yeah, you've you got to quite work out down. the kinks, and then the second party, you're ready to go. You've had a few drinks, maybe a pig's leg, ready to Absolutely. get down and boogie. Well, listen, what? Did you just, what? <laughs> What's up? Get down and boogie with pig's legs, I believe. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's why we brought you here. Yes. Yeah. But enough about that, guys. It's been a pleasure. And uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of your time as well in the UK. We are Milo Green, and we have a confession. We're really in the UK looking for a bride for Robbie. Where is my wife today?